In this video, we are going to look at Schoolbox from a student's perspective, exploring the class page and how to complete a task, quiz and do work. Throughout this video, I will be logged in as a student, so you may notice some differences from what teachers usually see. As a student, you can easily locate your class page under the heading My Subjects. You can also easily access your class page by clicking on the link in your timetable. On your class page, you will find a component that lists your tasks, due work and quizzes. This component may have a different heading, as it can be customised by teachers. In this component, you will be able to see the units of work for your subject. These may also be called topics, areas of study or something similar. You will only be able to access the units that have been opened by the teacher. You will notice that there are different icons for tasks, quizzes and due work. To complete a task, click on the title of the task. This may trigger a document to be downloaded, another window to open, a video to appear, or another action. It depends on what your teacher has set up. After you have clicked on the task, you may notice an orange tick appear, or you can check off a task yourself by clicking the grey box. This tick shows that you have completed the task. The grey or empty boxes show what still needs to be completed. This is a great way of keeping track of what you have or have not completed. Once your teacher has reviewed or approved the task, they will check it off and the tick will turn green. For some tasks, your teacher may not have selected the option to allow self-assessment. This means a tick will not appear next to the task when you complete it. However, when your teacher approves the task, you will see the text beneath it says approved. To complete a quiz, click on the title of the quiz. Read the instructions for the quiz and then click Begin Quiz. At the top of the page, you will see how long you have to complete the quiz. You can then scroll down to begin answering the questions. There are a range of question types, including short answer, multiple choice and more. If there are multiple sections, you can click Next Section to move to the next section. At the end of the quiz, click Finish. You will then see a preliminary mark. Some question types, like multiple choice and matching pairs, will automatically assign marks. However, other questions, like short answers, will need to be reviewed by your teacher, so your mark may change. By clicking View Results, you will be able to see the results of your quiz. For multiple choice options, you will be able to see the answer you gave, indicated by the tick in the given column, and the correct answer, indicated by the tick in the correct column. For some questions, like short answers, you will see your answer at the top, followed by the correct or suggested answer. The marks assigned to the question will appear below the question. You may have the option to redo a quiz. If this is the case, you can access it again through your class page. To complete a due work task, click on the title of the due work item in the tasks list. Read the description of the due work task and download any documents. You can also check out the rubric against which you will be marked. It's a good idea to look at the rubric, so you know what your teacher will be looking for in the assessment task. When you are ready to submit, click Submit. You can submit in multiple ways. You can type into the text box. The text box has many options for editing. You can format your text, embed media like images or audio, and add tables. Drafts will automatically be saved here, but your work will not be submitted until you click Submit for Assessment. You can also add an attachment by dragging and dropping a file into the drop space. By clicking this area, you have more options. You can upload files from your computer, submit a recording, access something in the resource area or my files area of your school box. You can also access your network drive, Google Drive or Office 365 if they have been connected at your school. Once you are ready to submit, click Submit for Assessment. You will then be able to review your assessment, view the plagiarism score and resubmit. While your class page is one way to view upcoming due work for one subject or class, you can also see upcoming due work in a couple of other ways. On your dashboard, this is the first page you see when you log in 
you may have a component called Upcoming Due Work. This will give you a list of due work items. You may also receive an instant notification when your teacher has created a new due work item. Clicking on the notification will take you to the submission screen where you can read a description of the due work and submit. You can also click the My Work tab. This may be in your top or side menu. This will give you a calendar overview of all upcoming due work items.